Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today we're going to be checking out the Thrommax 2.4 GHz wireless microphone system. This includes two transmitters and one receiver, making it ideal for recording videos with multiple guests. Let's head over to the studio and check it out. I'm recording the audio of the Thrommax wireless transmitters into the Zoom H1 handy recorder and I'm syncing it up in post-production in my video editor and I've applied no EQ or effects so that you can hear what the audio sounds like directly out of the box. Before we get on with the unboxing, review and specifications of the Thrommax wireless system, I thought it would be a good idea to check out what the Rode Wireless Go sounds like in the same environment. The Rode Wireless Go is perhaps one of the most popular wireless systems at the moment, so I thought it would be a good comparison to make. Let's check it out. I've just placed the Rode Wireless Go onto my collar and this is the audio I'm recording directly into my Zoom H1 Handy Recorder, which is the same setup as I used earlier for the Thrommax wireless system. So this is a comparison between the two audio signals. I can't tell just yet because I haven't edited, but during the editing process, I'll leave some notes as to what I believe the differences are. And I'll also make sure not to apply any effects in post-production so you can hear the audio from both microphones as is, as they would sound recorded directly into an audio source. Back to the Thrommax wireless now and let's take a look at the specs. There's a built-in omnidirectional condenser microphone with 128-bit encryption designed to deliver crystal clear audio under any conditions. You get up to 60 meters range line of sight and I'll be testing this out fully on location later on in the video. The transmitters and receiver unit have built-in rechargeable batteries that provide up to six hours of use. They can be charged by USB and there's an included USB cable that has one USB-A and three USB-C connections on the other end, which means you can charge all transmitters and receivers at once from one USB port. There are multiple cables in the box providing compatibility with iOS, Android, smartphones, PC, Mac, tablets, GoPro, and DJI. The receiver has a color LCD display which shows you your input levels from both transmitters, one on each line at the top. You can short press button two on the receiver unit to switch between the TX1 and TX2 transmitters, and you can then adjust the levels of each as required. There are two recording modes. One is TX1 and TX2 mixed as stereo channels, and the other allows you to record each channel separately so that you can edit them in post-production later on. There are two lavalier microphones provided in the box, one for each transmitter. I've got one of them placed on my collar right now, and this is what the audio sounds like. The benefit of using a lav microphone is that it can provide you with a more discreet look, often suitable for interview and professional corporate videos. And now for the outdoor test, I have one of the Thrommax transmitters here in my hand, and I've got the Furry Cat windshield in order to minimize wind noise into the microphone, and this is what the audio sounds like. Now I'm going to switch over to one of the provided lav microphones, so we can hear what it sounds like recording through the lav. And here is a sample of the recording through one of the provided lav microphones. This is what the audio sounds like using the lavalier microphone. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit me off the like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. If you're interested in purchasing, I'll leave some links in the description box below. And by all means, if you have any comments or questions about the content you've seen today, drop them in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible. Bye for now.